in program sports update extra stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up Yes, indeed. Uh, good morning and welcome to the program Sport Update Extra. We come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM and uh, Sport Update Extra. They come to you every weekday from 10 to 10.45. Me will bring you this edition of the program Sport Update Extra. Musa Kamara Naminim. Inside the program, we get to get local uh, sports and also interna international sports updates. And we get we guests in the studio where they can look at issues them. We will be discussing inside the program as today we look at Easter Lions and Borinja's performance at the African stage at the CAF Champions League and Confederation Cup as Borinja's lost yesterday one goes to zero inside San Pedro na Ivory Coast after we the first leg being draw one one inside Bo. We mean say Bo Rangers don't exit the uh, Champions League, and also we get Easter Lions. We lost inside Bo last week last weekend one zero against ASC Giraffe, and also then beat them inside ASC Giraffe now Senegal by three goals to zero we mean say they self don't go out within this mean for um salon football and within at the way forward and also on the sixth we get the national football team leon stars they start the 2025 nations cup campaign against chad inside monorovia na liberia waiting for put in place i get now the studio rodney michael a football stakeholder and also uh then can call her the uh, living encyclopedia for football uh, good morning and welcome to the program, Rodney Michael. Good morning, Musa. Good morning to everyone here and good morning to the listeners out there. Uh, you know, they follow the uh, local leagues them, and now we get Bull Rangers, we represent Saloon and also uh, Easter Lions that all get eliminated. What's in a take on this elimination? I always tend to look at the positives rather than the negatives. And uh, Bull Rangers now the three-time reigning champion of the Premier League. They play in the Champions League, winner the biggest and the most uh, prestigious tournament in the continent at club level. And anybody who watched the match at home and away, Gose Borangers can count themselves very unlucky enough to go through. In both, they had very good chances for a win by a distance. Unfortunately, they did not take the chances. Away, they get a few chances, maybe for allow them to forget the draw with a goal and go to penalties. So the positive I take out of this is that we best team in the country by a distance, even though we're chairman of Blackpool and we really try for compete with them this year. The truth is Borangers is the best team by a distance with the best coach in the country. Without any doubt, Kista has a, the rec recognition and the CV for proof that. They match the Ivorians. And let's be honest about it, Musa. We still a distance away from Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast is not, for example, like Liber Liberia. Ivory Coast is one of the best countries in Africa, and the domestic league has always been very, very good, better than some of the most of the countries in Africa. The positive I take from that performance from Borangers is that they went very close to qualifying, which means we best team not it too far from competing with the rest of Africa. Of course, there is still a lot of work to be done. We football. Uh, system and structure need for improve if one for compete regularly rather than just participate but Boeing has give me a lot of positives unfortunately and i'm not going to criticize lions because me now blackpool no way we'll be all be the pray that lions go do well we're going to root for them we're going to support them sadly with lions it showed that they were not of the same standard then playing the confederations cup as fa cup uh, qualifiers um, it obvious over the two legs that they were way below standard, unable for match the opponents. And uh, again, let's say we get a better chance at home, but going away, they don't get a kind of experience and ability for cope. So unfortunately for Lions, like the rest of the clubs in Sierra Leone, I think said we did a far distance away from the rest of Africa. But the positive is that Borangers seem for the get there. They seem for they they can kind of hold their head high and say we did a very good job. We tried best. Of course, it's disappointing. Nobody wants to go out at the first round, and especially now that Africa has poured in so much money into the group stages. If Borinjas be qualified for the group stages, I think they will get two hundred thousand dollars seed money or something like that. It's a seven hundred thousand dollar. Yes. For the group stage. Yes, according to the SLFE. And I, I would argue that they know better than us, but that's a lot of money. But uh, 
I think uh, that's, that's going to be very disappointing for them. I know that for taking part alone in the first round, you get $50,000. So at the end of the day, they're going to be disappointed. But on performance-wise, they were equal to the team with San Pedro. They prove them at home, and they really do very well away. For play away, Musa, in Africa, for play away, it's not easy. There are a lot of factors that count against you. Traveling takes two days. You have to go to Guinea. From Guinea, you have to go overseas, or you fly from here. It, the flight alone is about two days traveling, will it take? And then for recoup, and when you go there, Africa is not the most convenient place for go for a game, for a football match. It's very, very uncomfortable as a whole. So I, I'm very positive about the outcome from Bull Rangers. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for Lions. Um, I wish them better luck the next time they qualify. Uh, and it's actually the other clubs are less in Musa. Um, I turn around to me, some of my ex co members, and ask them, you know, see how Lions suffer? What happens if we qualify Blackpool next year and we're hoping to qualify? How are we going to be prepared to compete? It's not about participating, it's about competing. Now, we look at Bull Rangers, these are the third team winning the goal, and Lions, on the other hand, don't take five years, they're not good at this stage. You think so that's different or that? experience counts in the competition. Musa, let's be honest about it. The domestic league is one of the most competitive leagues in the Manor River Union and even West Africa. People they underestimate which kind of football league will be playing as Sierra Leone. It's very rigorous because you're playing practically every three days you're playing a game, every four days you're playing a game. Bow Rangers have proven that by a distance they're the best team in the country. For three years now, winning the league, and not to win the league by one point, by two points, they are winning the league by 13, 15, 17 points. That shows they have the best players in the country. The investment of Babadi Kamara and the Exco and the officials and the fan club, they have a setup that is enviable. Their fans are contributing to the running of the club. Then they move around, then they spend. It's not all about Babadi Kamara. People are getting boring, just totally wrong. Yes, Babadi is a man behind the picture, he's the kingpin, he's the investor, fine. But others have come on board, people like Joe Thomas and Shekumana and AKB and others, they're all supporting and cooperating and participating. They have a total setup, but there's also the women's wing of Bow Rangers. They're the most wonderful women supporting group in Sierra Leone. Now then they feed the team, now then they cater for the team, now then they're behind the team. So Bow Rangers has a setup. It's a unit now. And they're enjoying it. They're playing football with joy. They're supporting football with joy. They're united. They have a system in place. We in the other clubs can only envy what Borangers has. It's not about the clubhouse alone. The field was built by Mabadi Kamara as his private investment, but it helps Borangers a lot because they're using it as their own grounds. They train on good quality field. They have video footage of what they do. They can, the coach can go and review it. And without doubt, they have the best coach in Sierra Leone. Away from Borangers, we don't they struggle for a present saloon on the African stage. You think, say, we get a club, we get what it takes for a present saloon. We, look, we see Lions. For a very long time, Lions don't they draw back for represent Saloon. Then, then can qualify and say, no, we don't get money or we don't go able to go this year. But this year, they make mind then go, but we see them concede four goals over and away without scoring any. That's the point. Bow Rangers can compete. Apart from Bow Rangers, I can't vouch for any other team, not even me on Team Blackpool. What is the missing link? The missing link is the quality of players. Bow Rangers have bought the best players in the domestic league in Sierra Leone. They have the best team. It's proven in the league. If a team is winning the league by 13, 15, 17 points, Musa, it means they're in a league of their own. It means the rest are just participating for second place, third place, or whatever, or for avoid relegation. There's a big gap between the Borangers and the rest of the country. There's a big gap. It's like in the Spanish league, it's either Barcelona or, or uh, Real Madrid. In Premier League, it's Man City and one other. Either Liverpool this year, Fed, next year be uh, Arsenal, next year be this. But the truth is, once you have invested money and purchased the best players in the country and you keep doing it, buying the best, Borangers is not grooming young players. They are buying the best players. This is what you have to know. You think so that's the best? Buying or grooming? No, that's what I'm saying. With them, it's about competing. 
The rest of us were grooming players because we cannot afford to buy the best. You think if Blackpool can get a, a million dollars on the table, we don't go out and get the best 10, 12 players in the country for win the league? The truth is, where there is money, the first thing you do is to buy a winning team. And then you work on grooming players. Now what Rangers is, Rangers is already a market to sell. If only they had, uh, that's probably the only negative side about Bull Rangers. Their marketing department is too weak because they're not getting enough sponsorship and support and funding. I think they need to improve that sector. But apart from that, everything else is a perfect jigsaw puzzle. They have the technical team that is solid, the infrastructure that is available, the quality of players that's there with experience. Remember, nearly 60% uh, of Bull Rangers team are represented already at one stage. To me, they have the best defender in the country domestically for the last 15 to 20 years. Lucio, very top quality player. They've brought in other players that are now competing. In the, mid, in the midfield, they have the Sarubas and the uh, 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 Nima and others. They have a team. They have a solid team from goal to attack. And that's why the league is going to be Borinjas versus the rest again. Because when you look at the quality of players they have, they have the experience, they have the ability, and they have the technical yeah. setup, and they have the financial capacity. And you see them for Windy Sea League again? No, Blackpool. Blackpool. <laughs> Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every chairman will tell you that we're prepared this year. Yeah. Blackpool is prepared, FC Calvin is prepared, Lions is prepared, Bantam is prepared. I think it's going to be Bo Rangers. Whoever wants to win the league has to beat Bo Rangers. So you're playing the league, you're not fighting the other opponents. Because to you, the Borangers is there as a title contenders. If you beat Borangers, 99% chance you have won the league. So you, you, you think, say, we need a fair play rule in Australian football? Considering you say Borangers is buying all the best. And when the league down, we see them buy more players. You can't implement a fair play rule in a country where there is lack of funding. And this is why I've told the other chairman then. This idea of going into a football field and just say, oh, we go manage, we go manage, we go manage. We're actually depriving our players. We need sacrifice excessively. What we need to do, instead of rushing to a league, is to have a tete-a-tete -tete with the government agency then, and we design a national policy for entice corporate funding of national leagues and national teams at uh, uh, club level. It's impossible for these clubs to be able to compete if they cannot raise two, three hundred thousand dollars in sponsorship. Apart from Roquel Commercial Bank, that is helping Blackpool, and I give them that commendation. They are standing with Blackpool. They, they doubled their sponsorship for this last year, thanks to the MD of Roquel Commercial Bank, Dr. Gilpin. He's a very passionate person when it comes to things that affect the youth. That I've spoken to him, and that's why he's supporting Blackpool. Africel are helping Lions in their own arrangement, I think paying the salaries of players. But there are very, very, very few companies in this country today. And we're talking about tens of millions of dollars companies, hundreds of millions of dollars companies that are actually investing money in this but, country. But Rodney, even the, 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 the clubs them we get huge finance you see they get challenged in the struggle. I take port authority for instance, you see what he put ports, then travel and it's they rent, they lend bus, then travel. Now rent, they rent bus. Port Authority, now one of the biggest institutions then are salon. You see the struggle. You see Freetown City Council, a whole council team, you see the struggle. You see Arslav out in the struggle, the National Army team. You see the salon police. These are institutional teams that we not for struggle with funding at all. And we may for understand, say, each police officer, they pull money for sports and put under the cover. Let me start with Ports Authority because traditionally they're one of the best funded teams in the country. The management of Ports over the years has done very well for put the players as, uh, under salary in our Ports and they've been pumping money in. Uh, Musa, I regret for saying this and I'm not attacking Ports Authority, but no team in Sierra Leone for allowed their players for travel in the night. No team in Sierra Leone. It's difficult to maintain them. But you cannot risk the lives of players for travel at night. And all the clubs are doing it. And this has to stop. Because 
the longer we do it, the more we do it, God forbid, there's going to be more risk and more risk and more risk and more incidents. Post Authority has been doing well. They've been pumping money into the team. I think they can pump a little more. If the post management can sit down and give another 40% of what they're giving or 30% of what they're giving, these night travels can stop. It can stop. I think they should do that. Freetown City Council, honestly speaking, I don't see any justification for them to ever struggle. Because, first of all, the council raises money on a daily basis. They have ways of doing it. They can, they can pass a rule that the business community for contribute towards the sports in the city. You understand, Musa? Yeah. The team is owned by the city council. There are ways they can do it to sustain money. They own the businesses in, this, in, the, in, the, in the capital. They can go about associate sponsorship funding. So I don't see any reason why Freetown City Council has been struggling for funds. And they've been struggling. But I don't see any justification in their own case. But you're only targeting two clubs that, have, that are institutional clubs. With the military and the police, well, they're now in the Division 1. But let's not forget any reason for struggle. But let's go to the majority of clubs, Musa. The majority of clubs don't have any means of revenue generation. capacity of our people is too low for them for buy membership cards for invest in the clubs and this is where we need a corporate funding policy for coming government and the government uh, line ministries and uh, the MDSM for work with the sporting industry for find ways for entire corporate sponsorship we have to take some affirmative action and this is something that has to work with the Ministry of Finance the NRA the uh, Ministry of Sports the NSA, the sporting disciplines, parliament, we need to come together and see how we could work. Okay. Now, you remember they get a basket fund when they finally go launch, now the NSA. That has been a non-functional uh, uh, fund. Nothing has happened to it. What we need to do, what we need to do is to find ways out of the box. For example, all licenses you take in the country, vehicle license, driving license, whatever license, Business license, this license, that license. A small amount must be paid to the basket fund for sports and entertainment. I'm expanding it, not only sports. People tend to ignore entertainment in this country as well. This is a, these are a, a ploy, a, 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 employable agencies for the youths without jobs. Okay. Get a basket fund. Any kind of license you take in Sierra Leone, a certain amount goes to that basket fund, controlled by an independent body, and then. The Premier League, for example, can apply for support from it, etc. We need to find ways of money coming in. Continue for stay with me inside the program, Roddy Michael Sherman, uh, Blackpool Football Club. Today we look at Bull Rangers and Easter Lions' performance and the structure of full local leagues team. We'll come back with a look at what is the way forward that we get Bull Rangers the win every year, but representation on the African stage can get challenged. What in the need for do and what in the next clubs that we go opt for represent salud need for do the program that spot up this extra continue for stay with me Rodney Michael. We go on at the international scene and join Mohammed Lamin Kebe for give we update as to what in the happen at the international scene. Mohammed Lamin a lot a lot um Musa a lot to happen um member say this weekend we just pass um Premier League all the major top leagues um is you and German Bundesliga is you then we see English Premier League match week two a lot happen Saturday and Sunday and um, surrounding fixtures and some of important tips and we happen uh, the, 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 the various league them um. but first one I take and um, La Liga left I will understand the scores for some people we know people watch game and um, Real Madrid, we see Real Madrid be able to trash Real Valladolid after we then be don't play the opening game. They be draw security points, or I will say Maluka security points against Real Madrid. But we see Real Madrid step up their game, um, as the ambition always lively, always for ensure say they able win La Liga. Um, we see Leganese and Las Palmas. Leganese be beat Suan, Deportivo Alaves, then be draw. Then Atletico Madrid also. Atletico Madrid member say they don't put a lot of work, they don't put a lot of money for ensure say they not only participate by this year um, La Liga but also for fight the big ones um, way now Barcelona with Real Madrid. A good one for Atletico Madrid. 
Then also, um, Musa, we come to the biggest league, the league where everybody wants to watch, the most talked about and the most watched. Um, Premier League, we see a fantastic display yesterday from Chelsea. And um, Musa, when are you team? I don't know if you watched that game yesterday. Oh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, a beautiful game for Chelsea. We watch the game. It's not only about the, the, the scores, say they score six, um, but the performance also spoke volume of how they want to participate and also for represent the Premier League into other competitions, say Champions League and what have you. We also see Liverpool um, with a new coach and it's lots. We don't see in tactics. I don't rejuvenate um, the style and tactics of um, the former coach, um, maybe the coach Liverpool. We don't take a back seat there is now. We're no, no less a person but George and Klopp. But Musa, let's go through the discussion very fast because we don't get time again. Plenty of time again at the program. We see France, Lego, and also we see Lens beat 2 not. We see Auxerre. They lost two goals to new um, against Nantes. Um, Marcel, we see Marcel got 2 2. Um, Count on German Bullets Liga also. Very tight game. We see Mainz 0 5. We play Union Berlin 1 1. Leipzig, we play Bokom. That game they become out. Leipzig beat one out. Very young team, dynamic team. We they do very we don't do very well over the years. I will be Leipzig. Then we see Borussia Dortmund beat Inter and Frankfurt by two goals to nil again. Then inside Italy we see AC Milan be surrendered to Parma by two goals to one. We also see Udinese the same score to one. Udinese be able for beat to get a secure three points. We also see Inter Milan also be defeat Lecce by two goals to nil. And we, we, we come for the Saturday we come to the Saturday fixtures, Premier League fixtures, Manch- Manchester United. Um very disappointing one for Manchester United fans and the club. We don't see how they struggle over the years. Um they don't begin to do the same thing, although it's a sad development for supporters mm-hmm. of that club and the club itself. We see Brighton um for over six games now, six consecutive matches. That fixture they don't mm-hmm. see Manchester United um don't loss um to Brighton. Five term, um, unprecedented. Okay. You, you cannot believe it, um, because of the ca- caliber of players that Manchester United get, and then still be able to manage for win um, by a goal to nil in the first week match okay. week with a new a new star player away. Now Zaxi be gets for but, but a lot. Musa Crystal Palace also be lost surprisingly to West Ham two goals to nil. We see Fulham Leicester City after we Leicester City be done um, get a nice performance with them come up from Tottenham. We see the surrender to Fulham. Then we see the, 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 the champions, Manchester City. We see how he switched down. We go with Lyon. Um, and that game day, but the number for one. We see the first score. I think it was around uh, 90 seconds of the game, or two minutes around that. And um, we see Manchester City be able to turn that lead. Day. Then we see um, the highest goal scorer for the last season competition. We now Ellen Alland. We see. A secure another art kick again for Manchester City. This time, sixth art kick um, from where he joined um, Manchester City. Also, we see Southampton um, be lost to Nottingham Forest. A very surprising result. We see Tottenham also be get a final victory after them. We don't lose to um, Leicester City. After them, we don't go rather to, to Leicester City. Um, on Monday night football match one. Then the last one, the biggest match I would say for the weekend, we just passed and um, for the English Premier League. Now Arsenal and Aston Villa. We don't see how As- Arsenal only suffer over the years. And some of the defeats we lost against Aston Villa, I don't cost them. Um, more especially last season for Lennon will clinch the trophy because it's just a win. They lost two of the matches so in away last season with Aston Villa. And okay. um, if Arsenal we don't win any one of the matches then they them by now for the say now they are the champions. But we see um Arsenal on Saturday don't change the narrative. They don't show say they're ready for business and then we then we beat all the teams and we um disturb them for win the the the, the, the competition last season. We see Arsenal begin to not um against um Aston Villa. I remember say Aston Villa over the years they don't get a nice performance more especially um, in the last the last um Thank you. Premier League year then how they don't qualify also for Champions League. So this is all we have, uh, Musa, for now, for international f- and, and results that we have on the weekend. Uh, thank you very much, Mohamed Lamin Kebe, for then up, for that update the inside the program. I come to Jaffa Mans Davis for local sports updates. Jaffa, quick one. <coughs> yes, indeed. Um, 
Um, a lot to they have on uh, the um, National Division One playoff, and uh, let's start with the results. Then will be happening first on the 24th of August 2024. Usai Sunday Foundation be lost to Campbell Eagles by a goal to nil, and then Abacha FC be get a win against Kabala City, <coughs> three goals to one, and then Star Sports continue their run of form with three wins on the spin against Francis FC. Then the last match for the, the uh, uh, Saturday, Masoya FC be win against Golden Dragon by um, a goal to nil. But all this, how all this transcend uh, the table as it stands, the current two top two teams in right now, na Imperi FC for for uh, uh, group, the Freetown group, Imperi FC the lead with three matches where they don't play and get seven points. Abacha City then say after three match don't get uh, six points. Then um, Star Sport FC after three match now McKinney group then get nine points. Then um, Francis FC after three po- uh, three match they don't get four points. We me see then this second and Abacha City this second. Star Sport the first, Imperi FC the first. So by the looks of the uh, um, um, semi final stage with this this playoff get for go to it get for be like I stand so right now get for be um Imperi FC and Star Sport and then um <coughs> Abacha pardon Abacha City go also play against um Francis FC na the as as the second place and semi finalist there we get for play and I didn't give me the but what in this mean now um Star Sport FC as it stands don't go to with don't go to now the next stage of the competition with three Three games they wouldn't win. They don't get uh, three three points each, and then um, a go a win for for Golden Dragons, Limo FC, and Masoya FC go make then go to the next round. But also again now a battle of supremacy. Now the other uh, the Freetown group will say um, the match between Abacha City and Imperi FC itself. Uh, Abacha City need for win. Whilst Imperi just need a draw for make them qualify go before. But also again, um, now that same group did and the Freetown group, Cowboy Eagle need a win for move na the next stage we in the semi final. All this now a matter of let's wait and see. But for today on fixture, yesterday the, the match we played na Francis been played against Limo uh, and then we win by three goals to one. But also today now we go get for see Star Sports they lock on with uh, Masoya FC or it's Golden Dragon they welcome Limo FC and this they all get big big deciding factor to how the semi-final stage of the playoff get for look like. Thank you very much Jaffa Mans Davies for updates on the national playoff for the uh, Salon Premier League. I come to uh, my studio guest again, Rodney Michael. We don't they discuss about Bull Rangers and East Lions performance. I they take you back to them performance before we can look at the national team fixtures against Chad Wege for be on the sixth um, next month inside Liberia. This message to come from Ronald Brestford, George Stone, they say it was not it was not expect unexpected to see Bull Rangers and e- e- Eastern Lions dropped out of the qualifying round of African Champions League. Until these clubs can buy quality players from outside Sierra Leone, we will find it difficult in getting through to the group stage. Let's be honest, we don't have the quality or depth in both teams to take on the club's champions of Africa for now. You agree to this one, uh, Roddy Michael? I don't think so. I don't agree with them. I think that's a bit harsh on domestic players then. You're playing a team from Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast is one of the highest ranked countries in Africa. And you uh, aggregate score is 2-1, home and away. The difference is not that massive if you're looking at the results, judging by the results. They want to watch the game in Sierra Leone. If, La- if uh, Borangers be taking their chances inside Borangers, inside uh, the Southern Arena, going away will have been just a formality. So this could be the, the point of this um, text that we, they reach with our Facebook page. But they say, the teams then, the players then, they take their chances then. That does not... say it's because of depth. No, I'm com- it's not because of depth. It's work in progress for Borangers. If you say that all the other teams will struggle, I agree with him. But Borangers have proven that they can compete at the top level. Let's be fair to them. They were playing the champions of uh, Ivory Coast. 
and they should have gone through. They had the chance of going through. On the two legs, they, it is arguable that they, they were even better than San Pedro over the two legs. Right? This is the issue I'm saying. Borangers did not take their chances. It's not because they lack the strikers. 